let's test out the top speed of this car. You ready? Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a 2002 Corvette Z06 C5. Produces 405 horsepower. To find out full information on this specific vehicle, click on the link below. It's gonna have the description. It's gonna have transport options and finance options. This is one of the most exhilarating Corvettes I've driven, and I'm a huge Corvette guy. You can see a couple of the C2s up there. In regards to the power, the handling, it's, it's like a race car. It literally is a race car. Uh, they have competitive mode in there, so you can click on a button. But let's do a full walk around, and then we'll go for a test drive. I'd rate the paint a 7.5 out of 10. Extremely nice, minor imperfections on the chin. So you do have some scratches right here. Um, also, I did see a spider crack right here. And then on the rear, the trunk lid, which is a very common problem with these C5s, there is a little bit of delamination on the paint. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to pick that up with the camera. But because of the fiberglass, you see how it uh, started to raise up, just like boats do that too. But overall condition, extremely nice, brand new tires. Uh, when you look at the profile, we'll bring it outside for you. Extremely clean, 60 plus thousand miles, and it's all stock. The suspension, I mean, I've been in a lot of C5s. This feels really nice. It looks like it wasn't abused. I don't hear any funny creaks, any funny sounds. Interior is extremely clean too. So the leather looks good, it's not worn. Someone definitely wore new balances because those pedals look perfect. Steering wheel does have that sticker. Up. You know, you can buy these off eBay and they did it to match the exterior, I like that. Stock shift selector. Let's go ahead and pull it out and we'll get you better outside shots then we'll take it for a ride. Got my heads up display in here, which is pretty neat. I'll show you guys that when we get outside. Air condition is ice cold. We're gonna go to the gas station today. Let me show you the lights as well. Headlights work well. Yeah, we definitely gotta go to the gas station. Let's get it in the stance position. Boom. Let me go to the rear so you can hear the exhaust. All stock, no modifications. Sounds really, really good. Gonna open up the hood and shut it off. I'm gonna pop the trunk and open up the hood for you. All the pot, uh, body panels are nice. Tires, as I said, are new. You've got 275s on the rear. And then I believe the fronts are uh, 275s as well, okay. Engine bay is extremely clean. Uh, you can hear the AC compressor just decompressing right now. Factory air box, valve covers are in great shape. I don't see any issues in regards to damage. Carfax is clean. All your plastic still nice. Gasket's still nice. There's your VIN number. Small imperfection on the heads up display. You see that little crack on the plastic. I know these are about 40 bucks on eBay, so uh, that might be something that I'll do before it sells. Close the hood. Let's get to the trunk. Trunk is huge because it connects to the cabin. Uh, you've got this compartment here. They did that because they used the same layout as the original C5 and there's like a little latch, little mechanism here that you could put stuff inside and it wouldn't go everywhere. The rear bumper is in great shape, stock exhaust, no dents or dimples on the, on, the, on the plastic bumper. Fiberglass is nice, you've got your big brake ducts right here. This puts air into the back so it hits the, you know, keeps everything cool. Wheels are in great shape, just a really nice piece and it sounds unreal when you get on it. There's your passenger side. It's, it's beautiful. Let's go for a ride. All right, let's start it up. 
starts up easy, speedometer goes to 200 miles an hour. I've seen tons of videos of guys going real close to that. We're gonna end up driving to the, to the gas t uh, station today because we are on reserve fuel. Uh, oil pressure is excellent. Obviously it's cold right now, voltage is good, and we're almost out of gas. Air conditions, ice cold. So you've got a gauge button here, you can click on that and it'll go through all of your, I mean if you're driving this thing on the track, it's nice to see this. Voltage, oil pressure, oil temp, coolant temp, and you can go to your fuel, 6.2 miles per gallon, no way. We are low on fuel. Uh, you do have an active handling button. This is gonna turn off your traction and, and handling, and if you hold it for, I believe, five seconds, it'll go into competitive mode. I just did it. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five. Competitive driving, so it'll keep the active handling on, but the traction will turn off. Let's go ahead and put it in first. Clutch feels really good. It's releasing very, like almost in the middle. We're driving to the gas station right now. I really don't want to get on it. We're at reserve right now. Once we get there, the engine's gonna be warmed up. We'll be able to go through the gears a little bit better. Clutch feels great. Brakes feel great. There's no funny sounds from the transmission or the rear end. Um, it's a really sorted Z06. We're still in competitive driving mode. Uh, we're about to go over some bumps here. I'll shift it into four. So this car can do zero to 60 in four seconds. Um, as I said before, 200 mile an hour speedometer. I would assume it's a 180 mile an hour car with the weight. It's so smooth. Suspension, the suspension is pretty stiff. Got your little cubbies here, fans cut in front of us. There's your cup holder, that's not gonna hold anything. Uh, ashtray, cigarette lighter, never been used. Your climate control works well and the radio sounds actually pretty good. The roof is really nice and then you do have the ability to access your trunk from inside the cabin. Let's get some fuel and we're off. All right, we just got gas. I didn't fill it all the way up. That's partial throttle too. All right, let's head back and we'll do some drive-bys. Feels really good. Oh, I love it. We missed the light. Dang it. Steering wheel's in great shape. Shifter is original, which is pretty unique. I've never, never seen an original shifter before. Once we get past here, I'll be able to open it up a little bit. There's a, a stoplight, and then we can roll through first and second gear. The gearing is extremely long on these cars. Once we pass these semi-trucks, we'll be able to open her up. But it's very, I mean, this is, we're in third. It's responsive. It's crazy how fast it is still after being 20 years, it's 20 years old. Once we pass this semi truck, I'm in second right now. We'll, we'll pull it so you can see the RPM range. Here we go. It's fast, very, very responsive. I feel like they were underrated from the factory because that pulls like a modern sports car and it's the best bang for your buck. I mean, where are you gonna find something that's in the mid 20s range with that type of performance? If you have any questions about this specific Corvette, give us a call at 954-363-2261. Also, if you wanna get a shipping quote, just go to our transport tab on the site. We'll be able to get that for you, whether it be a port of entry or a zip code. Thanks again. Let's get some outside shots.